For WKNO News in Memphis, I'm Christopher Blank. It appears that high-dosage tutoring and summer school may have made a difference for Tennessee fourth graders on their end-of-year tests. The average English language arts scores are out from Tennessee's Department of Education. And third and fourth graders just logged their highest proficiency rates since the test was revamped in 2017. WPLN's Alexis Marshall has more. Third graders logged a slight bump in proficiency, increasing one percentage point over last year's historic gains. Meanwhile, more than 46 percent of fourth graders scored proficient or higher on this year's English TCAP. That's an increase of nearly three percentage points. And fewer fourth graders than ever scored in the test's lowest category. That means more students are within striking distance of proficiency. The state is crediting several literacy initiatives. That includes Tennessee's retention law, which requires tutoring and or summer school for certain students who don't pass the state's exam, as well as a statewide shift to phonics-based reading instruction. The Shelby County Sheriff's Office currently has a backlog of more than 20,000 unserved warrants. About 2% of the county's population has an active warrant, with about 2,000 issued each month. The department is now sending postcards to those with warrants, encouraging them to turn themselves in to avoid being arrested at home or at a place of business. Planned Parenthood in Illinois says their facilities have served a record number of -of out-of-state abortion patients since the overturn of Roe v. Wade nearly two years ago. According to a PPIL press release, its Carbondale Health Center, which opened its door in December 2023, has been a key access point for out-of-state abortion patients. About 90 percent come from states where abortion access is restricted. Memphis Botanic Garden has a new executive director. Mary Lynn Mack will helm the organization starting mid-August. Mack currently serves as the chief operating officer of the Los Angeles County, California-based South Coast Botanic Garden. Mack replaces Michael Allen, who is retiring after nearly eight years. This is 91.1. More news at WKNOFM.org and on the WKNO app.